Hi guys, it's your girl Jade. Um, for this video, sorry, I'm trying to find some good lighting here. I am going to be doing the movie uh, Hashtag Horror. Sorry, I'm outside so you'll hear cars going by and everything. But um, Hashtag Horror, it was a 2015 film in the mystery drama uh, genre. Um, IMDB gave it 3.4 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes gave it 50%, and Metacritic gave it uh, 42%. Um, you see, uh, let's see, the cast includes Natasha Leon. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. I'm not really sure. But I love her as an actress. I've watched almost everything she's been in. Uh, you have Tara Manning, Chloe Savigny, Savigny? I don't know how, how you say her last name. Uh, she plays a uh, character girl named Alex. Uh, Timothy Hutton plays uh, Dr. White. Haley Murphy as Kat. Lydia Hurst as Lisa. Uh, then there's Balthazar Getty. I don't remember who he plays. Uh, Bridget McGarry Sophia. Okay. And the movie. Um, <laughs> I'm waiting for my phone to load here. A group of 12-year-old girls face a night of horror when the compulsive addiction of an online social media game turns into or turns a moment of cyberbullying into a night of insanity. Let's see. But basically, anyway, you have like all your little I think they're what middle school, I think. Yes, 12. Yeah, 12 is middle school. <laughs> So they're on that uh, verge of thinking that they're adults and everything, but you have the shy girl with the problems uh, that doesn't really make friends that easily. You have the rich, spoiled brat. Um, you have the girl who is rich, and her do and her father is a doctor. She lost her mom, and she is depressive or depressed. Excuse me. And then, of course, you also have the fat girl. Uh, the fat girl actually does take a lot of bullying in this movie. And she, of course, eats away her problems. But they end up having the sleepover, and it's like... It's not that great of a movie, honestly. Um, it's... It shows them, like, taking a lot of selfies and everything and uploading them onto this game, which I never really did understand what the game was for, but whatever. But they end up uh, getting into a fight, and they uh, tell the girl that's, like, the manic depressed, uh, the one that's manically depressed, whatever, to get out, and she runs away. But, I mean, the movie starts right away with a murder, so has that going for it, I guess. Um, and then the girls start dying off one by one because they decide for the sleepover, instead of having their phones out all the time, they're going to lock them in a safe and throw away the key. Um, the father, the doctor, or Dr. White, I think that was his name, basically bursts into the house and threatens these girls with a knife. They've been drinking and all this other stuff. You know, the typical, what you would think 12-year-olds do when they're left home alone at a sleepover. But it's it's really not that great of a movie. I thought it would be, and I mean, you can tell the blood's like so fake. Um, yeah, it's just, it's crappy. I mean, it's a, it's a cute horror film, but it's not something that I would actually watch again I'd let my daughter watch it because it's not that I don't know it's not like um, it's just it. I, I don't I have no words for this movie um, I think the only reason I watched it was because I saw uh, I saw it had um, dang it who else was it that I saw? I saw it had a couple of people, and that's the only reason I watched it. 
Uh, let's see, Natasha Leon, of course, and I don't remember who the other person was. So, yeah, I mean, if you don't, if you're not one of those that actually likes horror movies, go ahead and watch it because it's not scary at all. It is, like, very soft core horror. Like, you see, of course, the fake, uh, well, it's not fake blood, it's like the cornstarch type of blood. No, not even that. It's basically a blood syrup. I guess that's how you explain it. But it's like one of those you splatter it and it doesn't really go anywhere. So. But yeah, anyway. That is... Oh no, I actually wanted to read one of these... The reviews people gave it. So you can actually see... Or hear why I said it's not that great of a movie. <clears throat> I have to get to the reviews. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, you have like, holy shit, you guys, this movie is absolutely terrible. Can't sugarcoat that or make it simpler to understand. This movie is atrocious. Uh, I'll make it short since this movie is not even worth too many words. Um, film suffers from what can be only be described as a surplus of ideas that don't really add to the final point very well. Um, oh yeah, and it does have some ridiculous animation. It's just not something you would put in a horror movie. Um, this was the most boring movie ever filled with untalented individuals, except for Natasha Leon. Um, let's see. So, yeah, that... That's every one of these uh, reviews on IMDb that people have written is just, it's a horrible movie. So, <laughs> anyway, recommendation? Mm, no, don't even. Mm -mm. I was like, I sat there and watched it because I do, I did want to actually give my full take on the movie. So I wasn't going to like cut it off halfway through and give. A, give an opinion when I didn't even finish watching the movie. So I actually watched it from start to end, and no. Anyway, bye. Love you guys.